In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Yanabox Moods. Moods will give you a very unique way to color correct and create dramatic looks for your footage. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but this effect also works in Motion and After Effects as well. In the Effects browser, click on Yanobox. Here you'll see the Moods effect, but also a bunch of Moods presets. These presets are a great way to quickly dial in a look for your footage. Let's take a look at a few. I like that you can pick an overall tint, like blue, but then try out the different presets for that color, blue 1, blue 2, blue 3, etc., which gives you a lot of different looks within the same theme. I'd like to start from scratch for the purposes of this tutorial. I'll drop moods on my first clip. The first thing you'll notice is a very unique user interface appears on screen. I find it helpful to turn on the help card from the parameters, which explains what all these wheels do. On my first clip, let's design a look. If you've done any color correction before, the shadows, midtones, and highlights sliders should be very familiar to you. The parameters are changed simply by grabbing the handles in the UI and spinning them around. I'll push my shadows toward blue and cool them off a bit. Then I'll push my mids and highlights toward the orange to warm them up a bit. I can change the amplitude of the wheels with the strength sliders in the shadows, middle tones, and highlights. To compare this look with the original, I'll grab the compare handle and wipe it back and forth over my image. The mode parameter defaults to punchy, which I like for this look. You can see it adds a crushed contrast look. If I change the mode to classic, Moods will apply the colors without affecting the luminance. Lastly, I'll turn off the display UI and the help card. On my next clip, let's try a different look. Now that I've shown you the effect parameters, I'd like to show you how to use Moods in the way it was designed, in full screen, so you can immerse yourself in the footage to color correct with just the wheels. Perfect to work on your HD DSLR footage. The first wheel uses desaturate when you push up and creates silver when you push down. Silver will give you a bleach bypass look if you also decrease the brightness to add some contrast. I'll go ahead and push it up to desaturate and left to decrease the brightness. The brightness parameter in this case affects the level of the shadows. Additionally, the expose slider controls the levels of the highlights and the gamma slider controls the mids. I'll colorize this by experimenting with the sliders. I'll do what I did on the previous clip, but really push the colors hard for a dramatic colorized look. Shadows to blue, mids and highlights to orange. Lastly, I'll use the wash black slider to lift the blacks and colorize them, again with blue. This creates a Polaroid effect, which really works best with pure blue, magenta or red. Once you're accustomed to the color wheels, you'll probably want to turn off the help card so you can color with just your footage and the wheels. Moods is a really unique and fascinating plugin that will help you out with everything from doing simple color correction to creating dramatic looks. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.